Are you tired of using chemicals to clean your 3D prints? Has IPA got you feeling more like IP name? Today, we're looking at Eligu's water washable resin. It sounds like a dream come true. Resin you can wash with water. Before we get into that, I want to address the safety. Just because it's water washable resin doesn't mean we throw all care and safety out the windows. Out the windows? Window? Can't ingest it like normal resin. You still need to wear PPE. So gloves, respirator, or really good ventilated space. Glasses, particularly when you're breaking off supports, you don't want any uncured resin flicking up and getting you in the eyes. I cannot, cannot stress enough. Just because you can wash this in water does not mean you wash it in the sink. This is still toxic and can hurt aquatic life and the environment you need to dispose of this resin just like you would any other resin curing it first before throwing it out and while i'm saying this there's probably some humpty dumpty washing it down the sink right now so don't go touching with your bare hands don't be washing it down the sink please please i mixed up the resins and thought water washable resin didn't smell as bad but um, it does and so I needed to calibrate this resin just like any other resin So I went to the cones of calibration and this is my favorite calibration test because it's quick and it's easy However, I struggled really hard. I had to do seven test prints because I just couldn't get the right setting I went to Eligu's fact sheet and I just assumed my Hallett 1 printer was similar to the Eligu Mars 2 And so they were saying 2.5 uh, seconds per layer But what I found was that that wasn't enough so I kept bumping up the exposure and it still wasn't working so I I got a, quite a few misprints as I was working my way up because I just wanted, I jumped the gun and just started printing. And then eventually I settled on 3.5 seconds. I struggled, I was trying to print One Page Rules August models and I struggled with some of the Raptors. I'm printing at 180 millimeters per second. So it's kind of fast. So some of the parts, there'd just be a fail here or there. It wasn't like it was a complete fail, but maybe one limb would misprint. 6.45, I'm about to head to work, but I just want to check if this print has printed. Where is it? <laughs> Where is, oh my Oh my gosh. And it's hard to tell how much was that the resin and my calibration and how much of it was the support files. I then printed some night models from Puppets Wars August edition as well. And they printed out fine. I did not have any fails with them. And I think Puppets War, their supports are quite, are quite a bit more robust and they work better for my like vroom vroom settings. Moment of truth. <gasps> it worked. I also printed a bust. So just a bust by Puppets War, and the first one was a fail. The face misprinted, and I just added a few more supports, and it worked out. It really, came out really nice. And so through all that process, it was basically the same as any other resin. There wasn't anything different in how I treated it. And this is where it gets different. So, so once you're finished with a print, you don't need to dip it in IPA to like wash it off and stuff like that. You just can use water. And so one of the ideas I had was, why not use my wash and cure station and just replace all that IPA with just water? And so if you get more thorough clean and so that's what I did I emptied out my IPA and filled my wash and cure with water and that worked really well because just the spinning and the water movement was able to pull off more uncured resin one of the things I did notice though was that it takes a lot longer for the models to dry IPA evaporates quite quickly and so but with the water it takes a bit longer and I would come back a couple of hours later even so if you want to use water washable resin just make sure you factor in the extra drying time after washing it one of the things you can see in the models is uh, just kind of where there's these white markings where dirty water with a bit of uncured resin has dried it's not ideal but if you're gonna paint the models it doesn't matter you'll get covered up in like when you prime it I also found disposing of the dirty water quite tedious because what you're supposed to do with whether it's IPA or water or whatever solution you're using you're supposed to cure that excess resin before you chuck it out what I've done in the past is I put my IPA in like a recycled drink bottle and just leave it out in the Sun and the resin inside cures and then I filter that out but with water I just can't really be bothered to spend all that time filtering it out so I was looking up online people were saying like you just let the water evaporate and I was really struggling with that the water is is just not evaporating I left them out in some jars and bottles and I was just hoping for that dirty water to evaporate and I haven't seen any progress so I've tried to spread them out into shallower takeaway containers and hopefully that helps the evaporation. If anyone has a better method, hit me up. That'd be nice. They're just sitting outside the front of my house. So just in the sun as we speak. In terms of the material itself, it's pretty flex flexible, flexible. Not as flexible as ABS like. That's all I'm going to be comparing it to. Did some drop tests from one, two, three, and four feet. And what I found was at the one and two feet, nothing really happened. Maybe some small bits depending on how the prints landed. But when it came to three foot and four foot, that's when like limbs and stuff started snapping off. There is that 
to be aware of and it just depends like most of your drops I think are going to be table height so maybe two to three feet and if you're playing on carpet you might have a better like it might not matter as much I was dropping it straight onto concrete for some reason ABS like was pretty crazy one of the solid Cyclops bodies just bounced from four foot it didn't even like chip or anything like that it's all intact and I think that's probably a testament to ABS like but the other thing is the ABS like prints that I were testing were misprints and so the delicate parts that would usually break off from a drop weren't there because they were the parts that misprinted and so that could play into these results a bit. The water washable is just a bit more brittle but it just depends what your purposes are. If you don't want to deal with IPA or another washing solution just want to use water and you're happy with a bit of extra drying time and stuff like that it's pretty good. In terms of price for me in Australian dollars it was only like five or six dollars less per litre. You save a bit of money there you'll save a bit of money with the IPA but but for me, I'm gonna stick with ABS like just because I prefer it. If you'd like to see how I recycle my IPA, you can click the video over here. Or if you'd like to see another hobby related video, click over here. Is that gonna be here? I don't know. Thanks for watching and happy hobbying.